name and where do you come from? Hello, Priscilla. My name's Prince Dipsy, and I'm from Art Crook. Yay! 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 Welcome, Prince Dipsy. We'll see. Well, welcome all. Our fashion fair here now has two very special questions for you. And whichever one of you gives the correct answers will become the handsome prince. So, fashion fairy, give us a turn. <laughs> Thank you, Priscilla. And the first question is, if you had to get rid of all the prickles in our club, what would you do? Well, fashion fairy, I would take out my sword and cut down each and every one of them, one by one. Then I'd use my magic powers, turn them all into fairy bubbles, so I'd be blown away. Very good. Very good. Prince Paul, what would you do? Well, fashion fairy, I would have a brilliant by Prickle set up in the club at our clock and put all the art clock Prickles in a big box, send them up to Zoll there and meet all the other Prickles. If you want to get rid of all the Prickles in our clock, what would you do? Well, Fashion Fairy, I'd wrap them all up onto a big slur and I'd drive them into the back of a coyote. And the second question. The second question is, the princess has fallen asleep again on a night out. What would you do? Well, Captain Fairy, I would buy her her very own clothes. I would sit on her with her, and we'd float away forever in a blissful slumber. I'd not be the only one that would have her number. Prince <laughs> Paul, <laughs> what would you do? Well, Captain Fairy, I'd take her. I'd tickle her fingers, tickle her toes, tickle her elbows and her cute little nose. Finally, <laughs> Prince number three. Sleeping Beauty has fallen asleep again. What would you do on your date? Well, Fashion Fairy, obviously she'd be at a kill match if she fell asleep in the first place, right? So, we'll take it down the road to Art and Clock to hang out with some royal folk and some sexy jocks. Very good. <laughs> None, I'm afraid, Priscilla. Why ever not? Because none of them ever said they'd kiss her. Oh, this is terrible. Princess Fiona. Asher, we found her. 
I know I did. She's below the shop. Dear Shrek, we need your help again. That wicked witch from Selbridge has put a spell on our princess Rosanna. She cannot be more perfect. Not another princess. <coughs> Where do we all come from? We have to find Oh, you can do that. Oh, no, you couldn't. <laughs> I know. I'll do that myself. Oh, oh, oh yes, I could. Oh, 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 oh yes, I could. Oh, 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 oh yes, I could. Oh, it has to be Hans and Prince on the sister away. Well, that rules out Birdie, Thomas, and Ollie. <laughs> I say them three is a little too old. Ah, no, they're too ugly. <laughs> well, what about your man from Prince Albert? From Monaco? No, no, no. He's good at all. <laughs> and how about Harry then? No, he's still on the beer. <laughs> Harry well, what about Will? Yes, yes, he too. Well, now, when last heard of, he was off skiing in Switzerland. Right, 
There's not a whole lot here except mountains and tons of road bars. <coughs> I'm getting fat. I am. <laughs> and bloody cuckoo clocks. That clock is doing me head in. There's nothing around here on his Brian Kerr and Liam Lauder, and he's sticking his money in the bank. No, I tell you, it's off the India for us. That's where we head for. There's lovely princess out there. So we give it a lash. Oh, I know. <laughs> Searched the best parts of the world. We searched everywhere. 